Okay, so welcome back to uh, part three. Long awaited, I know, uh, real life got in the way. But I'm back and I'm dedicating a few hours to get this last video, hopefully, on YouTube for you. Anyway, so far this is part three. Depending on the time and how long it takes, it might be part four. Okay, so last time I showed you how to create this. Uh, this is Monarch Airlines, it's the PMDG 737-700. And all I'm going to do now is convert it from a PSD file, which is Photoshop file. And I'm going to convert it into the DDS texture file. There's numerous ways you can do this. I'm going to be using a Photoshop plugin. Uh, this is freeware, the link is in the description, but if you are using Paint.net, GIMP or even Microsoft Paint, there is a free tool that you can download also in the description called DXTBMP and you can use this to convert it from um, DDS to a BMP file where you can edit the file and then save it as a DDS again. Okay, so we'll crack on and I'll show you how it's done. So I've opened up the Fuselage Master which is what we saved the last time on the last video and this is where it looks like. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the uh, file folder where all the files are and I'm going to open up Fuselage 1. This is the front end of the aircraft. As you can see on the Fuselage Master there's three areas. There's this area here then this area here and then this area at the back split into three sections and if you look at the paint gui guides can't speak today you'll see fuselage one boundary fuselage two boundary fuselage three boundary we don't need these because well i know what i'm doing but they're there if you need them okay so i'm going to select the forward area first but I'm also going to click on general weather so it's highlighted I'm going to go to the bottom which is white base and I'm going to press shift on my keyboard and click this will select all of those in between and I'm going to press control E for echo this will flatten those all into one single layer like so so all I'm going to do now is press control C because I've selected this area that I need press control C to copy Go into the fuselage master, uh, sorry, fuselage one dot psd, and click Control V, and this has pasted it on top. Perfect. So we can click, uh, sorry, press Control E, and it will flatten it into one layer. Select all, and actually we'll just save it for now. So we can close this one. And you want to do this for all three of these. So Fuselage 1, Fuselage 2 and Fuselage 3. So I'm just going to open both of those and do both of those now. That one's saved. And do the same for the last. perfect okay so the next one we want to do is the tail so we'll open up the tail and as you can see blank all the way we don't want any logos on the engines but if you do this is where you want to do them so again I'm going to go to the top to general weathering and go down to the bottom which is engine cowls and shift click to select every single one and then control E to flatten them all into one layer now I'm gonna get rid of this one for now and open up the tail section and do the same click on vertical tail click on base layer uh, sorry shift click on base layer and then control E again to flatten I'm gonna select all of the area and click control C for copy and I'm going to paste into the tail area now I'm going to align these so I'm going to do that now 
and the easiest way to do these is to uh, set the opacity down to about 20 something you know where you can just see the old and, and see the new as well and basically you're just going to move it into the place into the correct area that it should be and set the opacity back to 100 and just to make sure you can click on and off and it's in the right place perfect so I'm going to duplicate this layer now so duplicate okay and I'm going to flip the image so I'm going to transform it and I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees this gives it the opposite direction for the next area so again we're going to go to an area that's most recognizable or on both of them as you can see underneath set the opacity down low again so you can see both and just move it into place until you're happy with the aligning of it until it looks as if it's in the right place so it looks about right there maybe one that way no back there so that looks perfect to me so we can zoom back out and before we flatten these layers you want to make sure that the opacity for both of them is at hundred percent which they are so we can control uh, click on the top one and then shift click on general weathering and then control E to flatten them we can save this so that's saved and we can close the next part we're going to need the fuselage master again and we're going to do the night time textures so click on both of those and open them up now I might be rushing so you might have to go back and you know re-watch a few little bits of this but this is just because um, I've got to fit it into 15 minutes now I've already done these two uh, as you can see the texture is just showing through underneath it's the same principle as what we've just done you would copy the first area here so you would copy this section and paste it into here you would have another layer under here so you'd have the black overlay and then a single layer underneath just make sure it turns out something like that so like I say I've already done those if anyone needs an in-depth detailed part of that let me know in a comment and I will uh, I will do that bit but to fit this all in 15 minutes I am rushing a little bit okay so the winglet night we're gonna open and this is the exact same as what the um, two textures for the night would be for these two you'll see that there's a blank layer on top and then the layer underneath it's the exact same principle you would go here copy the rear area of the aircraft paste it in you would have to resize slightly just to fit this in so you would obviously align this perfectly like so this is just rough because I am not using winglets uh, well I am using them but there's no logo so it doesn't really matter and you would see when you save it and overlay it comes on top but like I said I'm not using the winglets with a logo so I don't need the lighting effect so we can flatten those two layers and save the next one is the uh, VC number now this is the number that appears in the cockpit so we can edit this and you'll notice that my tail number is there so I want to copy this into here so we can select the text tool and change this so it's G dash M O I believe it's M O N F like so click save click on the first layer shift click on the last layer and control E to flatten them click on save and close the next one would be the thumbnail background 
we're going to do this last because you know we want to put our aircraft in there so we'll do that one later the equipment decal uh, or decal is what appears on the ground equipment so like your um, air start unit your ground power unit and the uh, air conditioning unit I'm going to leave it as PMDG because I don't want to waste time okay so we've done all of these now and it's coming up to 10 minutes so I'm going to split this into two videos so I'm going to stop this one and part 4 should be uploaded 